In many parts, people celebrate Makar Sankranti by exchanging traditional sweets made with sesam. Sesam, you know what? It's til. Til ke laddu hote na? Good morning, ma'am. It is also celebrated with a feast that includes a dish made of green gram, rice and jaggery. The Makar Sankranti festival is also known and referred to as the harvest festival because Good morning, this is the time when harvesting is complete and there are big celebrations. This is the day we acknowledge all those who assisted in making the harvest. The farm animals play a huge role in harvesting. So the following day is for them and is called Mattu Pongal. So children, this is how Makar Sankranti is celebrated everywhere. It is celebrated for two days. At some places, uh, people celebrate by taking a bath in holy rivers. Some places, they uh, make different dishes. So everywhere it is celebrated differently. So now let's watch a video on this. Are you all ready to watch the video? Yes? Yes. So all of you, everyone, open your elephant ears and open your eyes wide so that you can listen carefully and you can watch it carefully. Okay? Good morning. I'm Kavita and welcome to Dots and Moms. January 15th is coming with Makara Sankranti this year and uh, most of the times it falls between 14th and 15th of January. This is a festival which is celebrated widely across India and there is more to it that we need to know and our kids need to know. So we owe a responsibility of sharing tradition and culture to the next generation. So this is my attempt to do that and uh, I would request please sit down with your little one. This is going to be as simple and as informative that your kid can understand. So let's move ahead and understand what is Makara Sankranti. It is an ancient Hindu festival known to be celebrated for more than 2000 years. On this day, the sun enters the Capricorn, which is Makar, the Indian zodiac sign. The day marks the end of winter and beginning of summer, meaning transit of the sun. What are the transformations that happen? The sun changes its direction from this day in the month of January. With this change, the direction of wind also changes. Winter is gone and summer starts. Sankranti in parts of India, how is it celebrated? What is it called? In South India, Pongal or Makar Sankranti, which is mainly a harvest festival. In North India, it is Lori, which is celebrated with a bonfire to mark the end of winter. In East India, it is Uttarayan, which is celebrated by flying kites mainly. And in West India, it is called as Maghi, which is celebrated by bonfires, cow fighting and making merry. In most places, almost all rituals are common. And this is why we are proud of our country and citizens which fear unity in diversity. When is this festival celebrated? It is celebrated on the 14th or 15th day of January every year. Five things to celebrate this transformation. Let's go ahead and watch them. The major thing is Surya Namaskar. To welcome the change in the sun, people perform this Yogasana. This is a yoga series which exercises the whole body. It is very important to teach this 
to kids as it will keep the body fit and enhance growth appropriately. Gifting in Northern India brothers gift their sisters family warm clothing. In Southern India people give away various gifts along with a special mixture of sesame seeds and jaggery which is also called as yellow bella in Kannada. Some people also gift books during this festival as it is a means to spread knowledge. The special foods made on this occasion majorly include sesame seeds and jaggery which are the main ingredient in every region. Pongal is one rice dish which is served in South India on this day and is made from a fresh harvest. Flying kites it is a tradition followed which scientifically exposes the body to sunlight for longer hours. This is to get the body adjusted to the sun after the long winter colds. The initial rays of the sun are rich in vitamin D. Sun exposure nurtures the skin to adapt to summer. The new crop is harvested now. A reason to celebrate is also the first harvest that comes at the end of the winter. The crop is all decorated and worshiped before it is used to cook the dishes for the day. for the festival it is also a form of paying respect to mother earth for giving us good crop on which life is dependent throughout the year wish you all a very happy sankranti let's make this a colorful and sweet festival if you found this video informative please don't forget to share So children did you find how amazingly it is celebrated so here we are with another video sankranti sankranti is a festival of farmers this festival is celebrated elaborately in villages than in the cities this festival comes after the crops are harvested during this time the farmers and the daily wage workers do not have much work to do but they have money in hand since the crops are harvested and thus it is celebrated very well in the villages every year this festival is celebrated in the month of january on 13th 14th or 15th or on 14th 15th and 16th the festival of sankranti has a geographical importance too this festival indicates that the sun turns from dakshinayana to uttarayana and enters the makara rasi this is also a reason why this festival is called makara sankranti in the southern parts of the country along with andhra pradesh People in Tamil Nadu also celebrate this festival very well. This festival is called Pongal in Tamil Nadu. A dish called Pongal is prepared with rice, green gram, jaggery and milk is made on the day of Sankranti. And the name of the festival Pongal has come from the name of this dish. In Andhra Pradesh, the festival mood begins before a month itself this month is called as dhanur masa during this month the haridasas do bhajans and ask for bhiksha girls make beautiful rangolis in front of the house and keep the cowden cakes called as gobbemma on the rangoli the gobbemma is decorated with flowers and girls dance around the rangoli singing songs A person gets decorated bull called Gangi Reddu which dances to the person's tunes. Gangi Reddu is nothing but a decorated bull. During this month, 
the Budabukkalas sing rustic songs and ask for Bhiksha. It is believed that Lord Vishnu likes the Dhanur Masa very much. Hence, during this month, sacred poem called as Tiruppavai, which is related to Goda Devi, is sung. The festival of Sankranti is celebrated for three days. The first day is called Bhogi. On this day, the Bhogi fire is lit early in the morning. By doing this, it is believed that the bad luck goes off. On this day of Bhogi, during the evening, dolls are arranged at home and it is called as Bommalakolubu. On the Bhogi day, people get up early and take bath. Small kids are showered with flowers and berries and this is called as Bhogi Pallu. On the day of Sankranti, a special sweet dish called as Arasalu is done along with many other dishes. All the family members celebrate this day joyfully together. In some parts of the country, kites are flown. Flying kites makes the sky look extremely colorful. In few other places, Rangoli competitions are held for ladies. After following the strict rules for 45 days, the devotees of Lord Ayappa get to see the Makra Jyoti on this day. The third day is called Kanuma. That day, animals are decorated very well and worshipped. Competitions are also held. Cockfight competitions are also held during this day. It is a visual treat to watch all this. The Dhanurmasa Pujas which were being done since a month are completed today. As a sign of completion, everyone makes a particular Rangoli on this day. So children, did you all enjoy watching this? Yes or no? Yes? Okay. So children, now here we'll take a five minutes of break. Man. But after the break, you have to be ready with your craft materials. Okay, so be ready with your craft materials and the little chef materials. After the break, we are going to have to do activities. Isn't that amazing? Yay! So children, in this five minutes of break, quickly go and gather all the materials. Come on. We'll meet after five minutes. And
join back everyone good morning ma'am good morning kids all of you please come back we'll be starting with an interesting and fun activity for makar sankranti so all of you please on your videos kids hope you all are ready with the materials i'll just tell you once you will be needing different color papers like blue pink red orange purple as well as a white plain sheet okay white sheet as well so please keep it ready we'll be needing all this colors and apart from that we will be needing glue scissors and pencil of course to draw so please keep everything ready children as well as a red marker a uh, sorry black marker or a sketch pen black color marker or a sketch pen so these are the materials required if you are not having a particular color you can use any other color which is available with you whatever you have it with you you can use it so are you all ready i'll be playing the video for you for the craft as well as side by side we will be doing it okay kids all you are ready so let's quickly move ahead and uh, kids one more request make sure you're placing the camera angle on the activity or the craft what you're doing okay i should be able to see it parents you can guide the children in cutting other than that let them stick it on them uh, by their uh, you know on their own so please follow the instructions so here so you will be needing yellow color color sheet color paper and cut it into a square i have a small cap with me i am keeping this cap over here i am making a circle and cutting it so all of you start doing this children take out yellow color sheet yellow color paper all of you yes i have a cap with me small cap i am keeping that and drawing and cutting a small circle out of it like this it will look something like this i'll just remove the backdrop so that you can you know ma'am yes yes beta mere paas yellow paper nahi hai white paper chalega beta maine pehle hi bata diya tha aapke paas koi paper na ho to aap dusra color use kar sakte ho but sun to yellow hi hota hai yellow and orange aap ek kaam kar sakte ho white mein cut kar lena fir color kar dena yellow mein theek hai acha diya tha ma'am okay baby so you will be cutting a small circle like this with yellow color sheet okay and after cutting a yellow color circle you will also cut a bigger circle with orange sheet here is the orange sheet so you will be cutting a bigger circle children you can use compass or any you know a small uh, like they have used the cap here never cream cap you can just keep any of the cap and just make sure your orange circle is bigger than the yellow circle and then i'll show you what you have to do see i have kept ready with the orange circle as well so what we are going to do now after cutting the circle you will fold this circle into a half and then again you will make it a quarter like this you will make it a triangle kids are you all doing and following you need two circles one is small yellow circle and a little bigger circle which is orange in color from the orange sheet ma'am do we know all in it what happened are you Sorry, Gurnoor, I didn't get you, baby. Can you just repeat what are you saying? Ma'am, I don't have blue color. 
kids if you don't have any particular color you can use the white sheet and color it off so kids okay. you can Orange use color. any color for sun ma'am yeah, is telling you you can use yellow and orange if you don't have yellow orange you can color it later on for other things you can use any color other color any yeah. any other color any other color paper you can use upar nahi so, hoga we'll take this Please mute the root card. Mute yourself, parents. Yes, I'm muted. So now we'll move ahead. children what you need to do is i'll just stop it for a while so that you can be clear we are going to first cut a small yellow circle and a bigger orange circle okay and after that i'm going to fold it this way and take a pencil i'll just show you what you have to do now if you can see me i'll just draw it like this your we are going to make a line like this i'll draw it with sketch pen so that it's clear to you all i'll draw and show you kids see i have draw a line over here a curve now we'll start cutting it because we are making a sun isn't it it's going to be very interesting just follow the tips what i'm giving you now like yellow big or orange big baby orange is the bigger one yellow is small okay with orange we are going to make the sun shine okay when you see the sun shines it shines bright and big isn't it so just quickly follow my instructions children so you will just make a cut like this you can see it yeah we'll keep doing it continuously till the end we'll be cutting in triangle shape children we'll be making small small triangles like this and then we'll just remove this center triangles it will just get removed like this and then we'll have to open it and when you open it you're going to get like this can you see i'll share the video you can just see the step again and then we'll move to the next one hope you all have done till your children so your son will look something like this can you guys see it like this okay now we'll move further for this you will be needing a a4 sheet white color a4 sheet and we are going to fold it okay i've already drawn and cut so i'll just show you how to do it please follow me see i've already cut this shape but i'm just showing you all we need to take a a4 sheet we need to fold it into half then again fold it like this and then close it like this and you will take a pencil and draw half cloud this shape you're going to draw i'll just highlight for you please follow this children can you guys see it you're going to draw this shape in the a4 sheet fold your sheet four to five times okay 
like this and then we have to cut this i have cut this cloud children so it's looking empty here so you will have to cut it i'll just show you once again the folding one so the sheet will be like this first we are going to fold it into half then again fold it and then again so it becomes like this after this the folded part can you see the folded part from there you have to draw the half cloud you will draw half cloud from here and you are going to cut it all of you are doing it children you can take help from your parents for cutting the shape okay for cutting the shape after you cut this out you will get clouds like this even they are pretty see how pretty clouds are there so i have already got four clouds that is the reason i told you to fold it four times okay so we will be getting clouds like this this is the sheet you will close it like this once again you will fold it and then again you will fold it and draw a half cloud and cut that out when you cut this you will be getting four clouds four clouds it will save your time kids that is the reason i have told you to use this method i'll play the video please watch it it will be much more clear for you Can you see the cloud skits? Please, all of you, you finish it up till here. You will have to make a sun as well as the clouds. When you finish till here, we'll move to the next step. Those who have finished it, can you show me? I'll just have a look at everybody. All of you can just show me like this. How much ever you have made. Okay, Shreyan has done it. Very good, sir. Shreyan has made his son. Very nice, Shreyan. Shreyan, and then anybody else? Avira, Avira also finished with son. All the others, Bhuvika, do it, baby. Okay, kids, finish it up till clouds. Don't stick it now. Only kids. I'll tell you what you have to do. Avira, beta, don't stick anything. Just cut it and keep everything ready. At the end, we are going to assemble. Okay, Ayan has made such a big sun. <laughs> At your place, sun is uh, shining very brightly, Ayan. During the winters. Okay. Okay, kids, finish it up with clouds and just show me your thumbs up if you are done with clouds. We'll be moving to the next step. Okay, Abhyansh is showing his son. Beta, you have to cut it out like this. Can you see star-shaped triangles? Actually, it's triangles. You can cut this out like this. Hope you all are done till your children. Nobody is showing me thumbs up. Why is that? Nobody is done with clouds. Lakshmi ka, beta, don't be in a hurry and stick everything. What I am telling you, just follow that. Okay, keep it in the side. Just uh, keep your all cuttings together. We will be sticking it at the end. Okay, Avira, very good, very good, Lakshmi ka. Okay, Shreyan, who is finished? Yes, Shreyan, I saw yours. Gurnoor, you have done. Okay, baby. Clouds. Okay, Abhyansh is finished but done with clouds as well. Okay, Lakshmika is also done with clouds. Okay, kids. Okay. 
Srija, you have also done with clouds. You could have folded even more times, beta. You could have got four clouds. You just wasted the paper by just making two clouds. I told you, you know how to fold it. Children, the more foldings you make, the more cutouts of clouds you get. Okay? See here how I have done. Okay, Avira, very good. Don't do any sticking thing, children. Please, just cut it and keep it ready. We'll move to the next step now. All of you be ready. Okay, I'm sharing the screen. Please watch the video. And then we will... Okay, for the next step, what you will do is, children, whichever color paper you have, whether it is pink, orange, red, purple, collect all the sheets together. Collect all the sheets together like this. See, I have so many colors over here. I have purple, I have orange, I have red. So, arrange it properly. All should be arranged together. After arranging together, kids, what you all will do is, you will cut rectangle in shape. You will be cutting it into rectangles. Okay? You can cut rectangles this much. Not very big children and not very small. I will show you one. See, of this size. If you can see. Can you see here? Okay, I am showing you the third step where you are going to make the kites. For that, see, I have taken different color sheets. Red, orange, purple, whichever color is available with you. Cut it into like this, rectangles and then arrange them together. After arranging them together, what we are going to do is, kids, we are going to fold it from the center like this. We are folding it into the center like this. All of you, please do it till here. Please follow my steps, children, or else you will be left behind. And you'll get confused. It's very simple. Okay? After doing this, we are going to draw a kite. I will draw it. Follow my instructions, children. Here, the sheets are opened. Here, it is sealed and closed. Okay? So, we will use the sealed and closed one. And we'll draw a rhombus kind of a shape. Okay. So you can see first I'm drawing a triangle like, not triangle you can say, a, a slanting line. It's very light. I'll make it a little bit dark so that you can just see it. So okay, can you guys see? I have made a shape like this. All of you will make a shape like this. Only half. Half of the kite. We are going to draw half of the kite. And we are going to cut it. All of you will cut. Keep all the sheets together and cut it children. So that we don't waste our time. We will be cutting it off. Okay. After you cut. You are going to get kites like this. Can you see it kids. I have got three different shades or shapes of kites. Shades of kites. Okay. The three different colors. So you are going to get something like this. What you have to do? You have to cut out the rectangle sheets, fold it in the center, draw it like this and then cut them out. Okay, cut the shape. Accordingly, after you cut it, you are going to get like this, different colored kites. So now kids, I will be playing the video so that you can watch it once again and then we will move ahead. Oh, sorry. Kids, you will be getting kites like this. Hope you all are finished doing till here. Just take different, different color sheets, arrange them together, make rectangles. Cut it out in rectangles and fold those rectangles. 
and make a shape like this and then cut it out okay cut it out and we have one more last step after that we will do the assembling that means only we have to stick so just be quick children okay avira you are done baby kashika ayan ayan don't play with the scissors baby it might hurt you please keep it in the side please never play with the scissors and all children please be careful parents just have a look at them and parents just help them out with cutting remaining uh, the sticking part they can do by the, their own okay kids most of them i can see they are just sitting blank if you don't have color papers you can also use white color sheets children i told you already right you can color it off later okay so after this kite kites what we have made we will be moving to the next step for this you will be needing a orange color sheet orange color sheet and what you have to do just look at this you will take a small orange color sheet a rect like this uh, i'll just cut it and show it to you all a strip you can say a little broader strip for orange like this a single strip and fold it from the center again fold it from the center fold it from the center after folding this see children have taken a orange strip only one only one is enough okay only one orange strip folding it into the center and now we'll be cutting it how you to cut it i'll just show you if you don't have that much of you know uh, you find difficulty in cutting into triangles you can just draw it i'll just draw it for you all so that you can just see the shape so we'll just draw like this zigzag triangles on the strip i'm drawn it i'll show you you can also draw it or directly you can cut if you are able to cut it children so can you guys see i have drawn like this i'll show you like this if you can see now we'll be cutting it out okay see we'll cut this strips so we'll be getting small small like this triangles when you open it will look like a see it looks like a like this it looks like small rhombus shape like this please cut it like this children i'll play the video as well for you make it like this as many as possible you can cut it see i have made many so i have made many and kept them ready you can also cut it kids can you guys see how they have made like a small bow you can just do that and after this assembling part so take out your blue color sheet the sun what you made the kites the bow everything keep it ready we are going to stick and our activity of craft is finished so all of you keep it ready you can see i have my sun over here blue color sheet my sun kites of different color the clouds as well as the rhombus or the bows okay the bows as you can see my bow here my bows so you can keep everything ready like this kids see here i have kept my bows as well ready so let's start now just watch the video it's only sticking part then i'll show you
Okay kids, so we'll do the assembling part. Please take out your blue color sheet. And first we are going to keep the sheet, sheet like this children. And not straight. Keep it like this in horizontal way. First we'll be sticking our sun. So let's quickly start. Take the glue. Now we are on a mission of only sticking and assembling things. So here's my glue and I'm sticking the sun. Can you guys see here? It looks like this. And for this sun, we are going to stick it over here. Here. I'm going to stick it over here. You also can do the same, children. Just stick it in the left top. Okay, left hand side top. Like this. I'll just stick and show you. Can you guys see it? It looks something like this. Okay. After this, we are going to stick clouds. Please follow how to stick clouds. The first cloud, what we will do? We will apply glue nicely on this, especially in the corners as well, so that the first cloud sticks well. Okay? Okay. So, I have got the glue. And we are going to stick this cloud here. Okay? Here, kids. Here. I will just stick it and show it to you. Okay. Can you guys see it like this? Now on this only we are going to stick another cloud. If you have made four clouds, it's fine children. You can follow my instructions. Or else if, if you have cut out two clouds only, just stick it. One cloud, that's enough. Don't do anything else. For the second cloud, you can see it's folded like this. Here there is a line. For that line, I'm going to put the glue. Here like this. Can you guys see? I put the glue like this. Now I am pasting it here in the center of this cloud. Like this. Don't put the glue completely children. Okay. Only in the center for the second one. And then if you do it like this, it looks something like this. Okay. Now we are going to take the next cloud. Same way for the first cloud you have to apply the glue completely even to the edges or the corners and just stick it here below the sun below the sun i'll just stick it once and show it to you just give me one minute like this kids did you guys see it like this now i have one more cloud ready with me i'll just fold that cloud only i'll apply the glue in the center of this cloud here here and then stick it here okay kids we have to just do it like this okay so now what we'll do is okay after this we are going to take our kites and we are going to stick our kites one by one Okay, first I am taking my purple kite. Here you can see this children, we, when we cut, we have cut this, it's, there is an automatic mark over here. So only on that mark, no, we have to apply it uh, completely, even in the corners, apply the glue. Can you guys see, I have applied the glue completely for this kite. I am going to stick it over here, below the cloud. Okay. Then, after that, for this next two clouds, I'll just put the glue in the center. That's it. Like this. And where is my one? Yeah. Here is my another kite. Okay, so kids, can you see it? 
I am just showing you. It looks something like this. Isn't it pretty and beautiful? Now we will take our marker. We are going to take the marker and we are going to make the tails for our cute little kites. Just give me one minute, kids. I'm going to draw it like this. Kids, can you see I've drawn it like this? Now we are going to stick our bows. What we have cut out. Can you see my bows? I'm going to stick this. Stick this. See, children, I have stuck the bows as well. So it looks something like this. Now I'm ending it with a decorative item. I don't have pearls. I am using this stickers. These are silver stickers. Okay, so we are going to use this and we are going to stick it one by one. I'll just do it and show it to you all. See, I have this stick on silver, uh, you know, kundan type of things. So I'm just sticking here. And it's done. Can you guys see it? Is it visible for you guys? It looks something like this. Come on, Ara Pandey, you can also bring something. We have given you so many options in the circular. Ma'am, I only have some biscuits. Very good. Just bring and make something out of it. Why can't you make it? Please, day we get chocolate letters also. No, no. Don't we get it? We get it. Yes. Very good, very good, Shidaya. Do it, do it, do it. Milk bread is not getting opened. Oh. Ma'am, this is sesame and jaggery laddu. That is actually uh, made on uh, Makar Sankranti. So that is actually the most appropriate, I would say. No? Yes. Because we all make it. Yes. Ma'am, for me it's chocolate let do simple but you gotta do a bit of more. Very good, very good. You can make it. Be innovative. Whatever you like, you can make it. You are free, no? Whatever I want to eat, I would make it. What's the big deal? That's also my dear students. Okay. 
Wow, Jonathan, very good. I have got smart kids, I must say. Grade four morning, I'm proud of you. Now, Chattasaya is spotlighted. Okay, Tejas has left. Tejas. And then I want you your pick with the laddu. <laughs> Though I can't eat them, I want to eat. <laughs> but at least I want the pick. Shanaya, where are you? You were also making something, no? You were ready with Oreo and other ingredients. Where are you, Shanaya? Okay, I want I want everybody to arrange the laddus in a plate so that it is clearly visible. So bring quarter size plate and just arrange it. Uh, Arav. Bring a plate, maybe bring a plate, baby. Go for it. Go, bache, bring a plate so that your laddus will be clearly visible. Very good, Tanvi. Jonathan, arrange your laddus in the plate because I want the pick. Pages. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am. Uh, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I'll just take uh, five to seven minutes more, okay? I'll call sure, you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <coughs> uh -huh. Sam, bring your laddus in the plate. Uh -huh. Ma'am, I have taken two dry fruits, one walnut. Chitasai, press it nicely. And one uh, cashew nut. Shania, whatever you want to do, do it quickly. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Very good. Now, now, those who are ready, I'm going to spotlight you. First of all, Ara. Yes, Ara. Ma'am, I'm not yet ready. Just a bit. Just here. <coughs> No, 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 that's okay. I think you have Mandy, made five Mandy. to seven laddus. Arrange them properly. Arrange them properly. In a circle. Uh, I need to do one more uh, work in them, ma'am. In a circle, in a circle. Yeah. Now, now, Arav, now, Arav, remove your hands. Remove your hands. Look at me. Yes, Smile. Just a second. Smile, smile, smile. Hold on. We are done. Very um, good. You can you can finish it, no problem. Okay, now I'm going to spotlight Tanvi. Tanvi. Bacha be ready. Tanvi, Tanvi, show me your plate. Remove the bowl from there. Remove the bowl from there. From the table, remove it. Yes. Show me your plate properly. Adjust your camera. Yes. Very good. Now smile, Tanvi. Hold on. Yes. Tanvi, smile. Just a second. Yes. Very good. Okay. okay. Now you can finish if you are left with the, some ingredients. You can uh, finish it. Okay, now the next person that I'm going to spotlight is Jonathan. Jonathan, be ready. Smile. You have made such nice laddus. Why do you look, look serious? Smile, baby. Okay, so let us now talk about the Harvest Festival of India that we are going to talk about today. Uh, 
Ma'am, I did not hear you. You did not hear me? Okay, right children. So today we are going to, we are not only here to commence another day of learning, but we are also here to celebrate a significant and joyous occasion. That is the Harvest Festival of India, right? The now yes. the harvest, yes, the Harvest Festival is all, I mean, known by various names across our diverse country. We know that India is a country of Diversity. diversity, we have diverse cultural, uh, diversity in culture. So this marks the culmination of hard work, dedication and the triumph of farmers' labor. And communities today, they come together to express their appreciation for what Mother Earth provides for us. So since our nature is rich in cultural diversity, so this is celebrated with unique rituals, traditional dances and plethora of mouth-watering delicacies on this day. So this morning, we delve into the essence of the celebration. We will explore the cultural significance, regional variations, and the spirit that the Harvest Festival brings to our community, right? So let us uh, embark on this journey and see what... Ma'am, can we have the next slide, please? So yes, what is Makar Sankranti? So on this day, people thank the sun god, Surya Dev, for good harvest and they offer their uh, first grain to the god. It also marks the transition of the sun into the zodiac sign of Capricorn. So on Makar Sankranti is the harvest festival of India. It is also known as Thanksgiving festival of India. And the next slide. So let us see this small video where you are going to get a glimpse on how we celebrate this festival across the India. As we set foot into a new year, there's a lot to be thankful for. A lot of Indian festivals in the month of January celebrate a bountiful harvest. Different states don colorful hats and join the celebrations for a good harvest in their own ways. A prominent Hindu festival Makar Sankranti will be celebrated on the 14th of January. It marks the transition between two seasons and the arrival of spring with longer and warmer days. In Rajasthan and Gujarat, kite flying is an important part of the festival. In Punjab, Maghi is celebrated with seasonal food and the traditional folk dance Bhangra is performed. Pongal will begin on the 15th of January and the celebrations will continue till the 18th. It is celebrated with great enthusiasm across Tamil Nadu and parts of South India. Sugarcane, rice, turmeric and cereals are harvested during this season and people pray to the sun god Surya. As a tradition, a pot of rice is boiled with milk and it is cooked till the milk overflows. It is believed to signify abundance, good fortune and prosperity. Mama. Bhogali Bihu in Assam and is celebrated around the same time. The Harvest Festival on the 16th of January this year will mark the movement of the sun northward. Bihu celebrations are incomplete without the traditional dance. Families gather around bonfires and indulge in merrymaking. As parts of India bid farewell to the biting cold, it is time to welcome the blooming flowers of spring. Basant Panchmi, also known as Saraswati Puja, will be celebrated on the 29th of January. It is the time of the year when mustard fields are in full bloom, lending bright yellow hues to the scenery. Traditional delicacies in shades of yellow such as bundi laddus and sweet rice are prepared to celebrate. These festivals may have different names across different regions, but the spirit of thanksgiving binds them all together. Ma'am, I know this Pongal festival, ma'am. Okay, Pongal how festival, would you like to share about it? Yes, ma'am. In Pongal festival, what happens? The 
pongal they will mix milk with it so which one is the one that first comes up will win ma'am it's like they will get fortune for the entire year okay so as monish uh, told us about one of the, the one of the ways in which the festival is celebrated across india so let us now see why it is celebrated and how we celebrate it on in different parts of india so there are various reasons to celebrate this one which is that puranas say according to the puranas they say that on this day surya dev visits his son shani who is the master of makar rashi on in this day lord vishnu also ended the powers of asuras by defeating them so we can say that this occasion also represents the end of negativities and the beginning of an era of righteous living so such a thought to start your year with can we have the next slide ma'am so it is celebrated in almost all parts of india and the celebration depends on the region so the basic thing is that we all clean our houses the houses are painted and decorated and rangolis are made in front of the houses many people also take bath in holy river ganga or they visit holy places like kashi uh, prayag and pray to surya dev people also make laddus made of sesame seeds in jaggery as a tradition so let us see how it is celebrated in various parts of india so in gujarat people celebrate this festival by flying kites so a lot of different colors of and shapes of kites are flown in the sky and the kite flying contest are held in almost every town of the city so in gujarat this festival is known as uttarayan so we know this festival as uttarayan in gujarat well in punjab this festival is known as lori so people get together around the fire and they sing they dance till late night and lori marks the beginning of the harvest season of rabi crops and the end of the winters uh, when the sun starts moving towards the northern hemisphere so it is celebrated in punjab haryana delhi uttar pradesh and uttarakhand mam rajasthan as well yes we do celebrate in rajasthan as well so it is also celebrated in west uh, in maharashtra so in maharashtra jaggery is exchanged in various forms to celebrate the harvesting of the first sugar cane crop and it is called tilgul so this is a very special day for married women who are invited for a get together known as haldi kumkum and they share sweets and give gifts of utensils well when we are talking about all parts of india let us talk about assam as well east india's version of harvest festival is called mag bihu and it falls on 21st of january this year the farmers from assam thank the god for abundance and healthy crop so the festivities spend 7 days and involve bonfires assamese games like pot breaking egg fights buffalo fights and many more well in andhra pradesh the way monish told us it is celebrated as pongal the four day harvest festival that starts from now 14th of january in the southern states of tamil nadu telangana andhra pradesh is a celebration of rice the name literally means boiling over and is a reference to the speciality of the festival which is prepared from the new harvest of rice boiled in milk and jaggery so this is how it is celebrated in andhra pradesh okay. well now it's time for all of you to get in action i hope everybody is uh, uh, prepared with their ingredients are you all prepared yes, ma'am yes, children ready to embark into the competition yes ma'am and the saddest part is that we won't be able to taste it you yes, can taste it on your own and tell us how the laddus were so shall we start we would like okay. to see the the ingredients you with your ingredients shift your screens a bit so that we can see the whole of you mam but uh, how can we make it we have to make it by our own 
Yes, you have to make it on your own. Ma'am, I have I have gourd with me, and these are till. Okay, very good. Okay, Khushi is also prepared. I hope everybody is prepared. Shall I start the timer now? Ma'am, ma we have to make the pongal now. You have to make the laddus now. I am. I cannot make it. I am not prepared. So, but the information was already shared there with all of you ma to be prepared with your. Ma'am, ma ma no one cooks laddu in morning. <laughs> but we we do everything in the morning. We are energetic in the morning. So shall we start I, now? I cannot uh, do it. Okay, no. I mean, those who are prepared, they can start. Shall we? Ma'am, I will. Ma'am, I will. Uh, Ma'am, I am also. Ma'am, I am also making. Okay. Ma'am, I will uh, show you laddu on fifteenth. Uh, on fifteenth. Okay. Fine. I'll be waiting for all the laddus from. Uh, Monish. Ma'am, it's very wet. Right. So can, your time now. Your time starts now. Start making your laddus. Ma'am, do you know? I know actually. Ma'am, done. Ma'am, even done. Ma'am, done. Ma'am, done. Oh, no, 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 it will be counted whoever makes the maximum laddu in one minute's time. So your time has already to be started. So you all have to start making the laddus. Whoever is making laddus, please raise your hand. Ma'am, this is called cheating. You have to first fry the dal, then you have to mix it with powdered sugar. Monish, we can make laddu with anything. It is not important to keep so many cooked ingredients. Okay. It's just laddu. Quickly, children. Ma'am, it should be uh, the perfect round, right? Ma'am. I just wrote ingredients. Ma'am and Mama, this pongal you actually it's not compulsory to add milk. Monish, we are just celebrating it. We know that we'll be celebrating it traditionally at our home. We are just celebrating the festival. Enjoy it. And Mama, when is actually the festival? Please raise because your I... hand. Whoever is making the okay, now the time is up. Making... And we would now like to see the laddus made by our students. How many laddus have you made? One laddu only, Kalash? No, ma'am. I, I, I made seven. seven. How many laddus have you made? Show, Kanak. One, two, three, four. Jiana? I made one in square shape. Ma'am, there are more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight laddus. Okay. Jiana has made how many laddus? Seven. Uh, Kushi, how many laddus? Ma'am, four. And Gossia? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so Kalash and Kanak and Gossia made equal equal number of laddus. Ma'am, Kanak yeah, made ma eight. I made. And Gossia also made eight. Okay, so we have two winners for this competition. Gossia and Kanaksh. Okay, um, everyone, please show your laddus in the camera so that we can capture the moment. I want a taste of what do. <laughs> Kanaksh, where is your laddu? Kushi. One second, just capturing it up. Okay, done. Thank you, guys.